How to install Python 3 version of package via pip on Ubuntu. I have both Python 2.7 and Python 3.2 installed in Ubuntu 12.04. The symbolic link Python links to Python 2.7. When I type, it will default install Python 2 version of package name. Some package supports both Python 2 and Python 3. How to install Python 3 version of package name via pip. You may want to build a virtual env of Python 3, then install packages of Python 3 after activating the virtual env. So your system won't be messed up, smiley face. This could be something like. The easiest way to install latest pip2 slash pip3 and corresponding packages. Note, please run these commands as root. Ubuntu 12.10 Plus and Fedora 13 Plus have a package called Python 3 pip which will install pip 3.2 or pip 3.3, pip 3.4 or pip 3 for newer versions without needing this jumping through hoops. I came across this and fixed this without needing the likes of get or virtualenv assuming Ubuntu 12.04. Install package Python 3 setup tools, run sudo aptitude install Python 3 setup tools, this will give you the command easy underscore install 3. Install pip using Python 3 setup tools. Run sudo easy underscore install 3 pip. This will give you the command pip 3.2 like kev solution. Install your pp packages. Run sudo pip 3.2 install. Installing Python packages into your base system requires root, of course. Profit. Short answer. Source, Shashank Bardwaja's comment. Long answer. The short answer applies only on newer systems. On some versions of Ubuntu the command is pip 3.2. If it doesn't work, this method should work for any Linux distro and supported version. If you don't have curl, use get. If you don't have sudo, switch to root. If pip3 symlink does not exist, check for something like pip3.x. Much Python packages require also the dev package, so install it too. Sources Python installing packages with pip Pip latest install Check also Tobu's answer if you want an even more upgraded version of Python. I want to add that using a virtual environment is usually the preferred way to develop a Python application, so a Felix Yen answer is probably the best in an ideal world. But if you really want to install that package globally, or if need to test slash use it frequently without activating a virtual environment, I suppose installing it as a global package is the way to go.